everybody, Pavel from QS here. We are in Comic Con and we found the University of London. And with me is David. We're going to talk about a specific course they're talking about here. So, David, why don't you talk to me what is happening here today? Okay, uh, I'm from the University of East London. Our campus is next door. Um, so, what we do, we come here, we showcase some of the work that our students do. We give the opportunity for our students to network with some of the companies that are, here, that are around here. But also we get the public, the people who come to Comic-Con to see the opportunities if they're interested in becoming a game developer or a writer or an animator. And we help guide them through the process of how they might want to take their journey to take the next steps of being a game designer or developer. That's cool. Oh, so can you walk me a bit more into details? What are the courses about? Sure. So the courses that we offer um, focus very much on game design and very much on gameplay. Generally, in universities, there's courses that are based in computer science departments that focus on programming. There are courses that focus in art departments that focus on game arts and animation and asset production and 3D modeling. We focus more on the core gameplay, so the game design itself, how it plays, how you evoke emotions in human beings, how you keep people interested in your games. But we do some technical developers as development as well, our students will be able to make games from scratch to completion and to publish games, but they're not primarily software engineers or animators. Okay, that's clearly very useful what's happening here today if somebody wants to study this. But what if somebody didn't come here today? Where can they find more information about these courses? Okay, well the ways um, people can find information about courses are on our websites. We have one called UEL Games, we have a Twitter feed. Um, we have some social media, UEL Games. If you're searching about games in general, you can do a UCAS search and search for game design and, call, and game development and then filter by region or by specialism. Or if you want to come and study with us, you could look at, in addition to the UEL Games website, you could just look at UEL. Or there are other places like Hot Courses or other search engines that are available to find out what's going on. All right. Do you do some courses as well yourself at the, at the university? Me personally, I'm the program leader for BSc Computer Game Development. So I teach students how to make gameplay, how to do level design, how to do network gameplay, how to make dynamic environments. And we teach an all range of stuff. I do some little bit of 3D stuff as well and a little bit of digital asset production. But it's in the context of how we actually make games. So it's very focused on making games. Okay. And one last thing, like, when is there something specific you're looking for students to have in order to come to these courses? What we're looking for in students generally is potential and potential comes from um, a number of potential avenues. Firstly is have a good gaming literacy. Make sure you play lots of different varieties of games. Don't just play FIFA and Call of Duty. Play a whole variety of games, independent games, role playing games. But also what's really important for us is understanding board games because essentially a computer is regulating the rules of a game in runtime. What we want are people to understand how those rules are done and the human beings mediating those rules in a board game are really important. So play a lot of games, play board games, have a wide range of interests. Don't just do math and technology, make sure you study culture and history as well and that you can write as well as code. Don't just narrow it down. No. no. You need a wide skill set and you need a, a wide range of understanding of who the audiences are because very often you're not designing for yourself. You're designing for a specific niche audience. So you need to understand about the persona you're dining, uh, designing for. And you need to understand about the psychological drivers behind that, about why someone wants to play a game and keep playing your game and keep playing it more. Okay. Let's, uh, last, let's mention the website. What is the website? Our website is uelgames.org. But if you just search for UEL Games, you'll find us on social media. Perfect. So for more information about the courses, go to uelgames.org. And for more information about websites, uh, about universities, sorry, go to topuniversities.com. Thanks so much. I wish you a pleasant day. See you in the next one.